All right, everyone, here we are with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of the video, guys. Right after this chart analysis, I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys, as well as the opportunities that were found this morning over at the Discord. And we managed to find three home run opportunities giving 20% plus possibilities at their highs. And I went ahead, shared it with the members of the Discord. And if that's something you want to become part of and you want to know what stocks I'm watching daily, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses. Now, here we are with BB Stock, BlackBerry Limited, and this stock has actually pulled back down after being in this consolidation area, right? Basically kind of consolidating here, but in a very subtle downward trend. Now, the lowest point that we saw in the previous channel was 1298. I've talked about it before. After it broke through that, it recently hit new lows here of 1227. Something to watch and pay close attention to. But today, it was in tug of war zone and it's just been falling through into bearish territory now it still is in tug of war zone but the bears are dominating so the 50 day moving average is 1305 anything below it is bearish anything above it is bullish now if this support level gets broken through 1267 i would watch carefully how it reacts between that support and the next support down here of 1241 to see if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up or if the bears tear this one down bring it to newer lows and new support levels further away from the 50-day moving average now the 50-day moving average does need to be crossed by the bulls to get back into bullish territory but to pull away from it significantly they need to break through the highest point of the day and that resistance level is key that is 1332 needs to be turned into a support so the bulls can pull away from it reach newer highs and further away from the 50-day moving average if you learn something new don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that I post. Share this with the friends so they can receive the insight as well. And all I ask for in return is three to five more minutes of your time. I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys that you definitely won't want to miss. We talked about it this weekend, pulled back to its most recent lows, has jumped up 20% plus this week alone in the last two days. And I have three ticker symbols that we mentioned this morning that went up 20% plus of possibilities on the day at their highest points as well as another one of three to ten percent of the stocks i mentioned this morning and we watch for opportunities like these daily so if you want to become part of that and you want to know what stocks i'm watching daily the link is down below in the description to the discord stay tuned So the ticker symbol I have to share with you guys today is one that I mentioned over at the Patreon this weekend and it actually pulled back to its most recent lows and since those lows it's jumped up 20% plus this week alone. Now before we look at the chart it seems to be in a possibility of consolidating or a slight healthy pullback. So before we look at everything I want to share with you guys the ticker symbols I mentioned this morning over at the Discord, shared it with the members and if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses. Now, here we are with ARAV. This was the first one mentioned. We caught it at 690. This one pulled back and gave small spikes of 3 to 5%. PIRS, we caught it at 362. This gave a home run opportunity. GTT, Caught it at 297. This gave a home run opportunity after dipping to the 260s and jumping back up to $3 plus, giving a 20% plus opportunity. And MRIN caught this one at 301, giving us a home run opportunity as well, really early on in the trading day. So let's go ahead and look at these two stocks that gave us home runs. And GTT was the only one that took the longest because it actually had a big pullback for a few hours and spiked back up the few hours later of the trading day, giving a 20% plus opportunity. So MRIN 
mentioned it at 301, pulled back down and spiked up, giving a highest point of 20% plus, guys. That was phenomenal. Happened in just 15 minutes of the trading day after the bell. Now, our other home run was PIRS. Caught this one at 362. We caught it at the lowest point in the pre-market pullback and the lowest point of the day. This was a very subtle upward trend, but it kept pushing. It did not stop, giving a highest point of 25% plus on the day. Phenomenal, phenomenal results. Now, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is VIPS. But before we look at it, I want to show you guys GTT's performance, how it pulled back the first few hours of the day hit the 260s, and has jumped up close to the 320s, giving a 20% plus opportunity as well. We found three home run opportunities today. Phenomenal for a Thursday. So the ticker symbol you want to add to your watch list is VIPS. And this is a stock I mentioned this weekend, and I talked about it, gave a little overview. So you can also receive access to my weekly watch list by joining the Discord and this is where the stock was at. It was at the $18 mark, almost 19. And this is what analysis ratings are saying, right? The lowest one is $24. So there's a five buy rating, two hold and zero sell. And when I look at it, I mean, the opportunity is there and the charts were showing opportunity to begin with. And it had pulled back from that level of $18 and some change all the way down to $17 on the 21st. It consolidated within the $17 range, having small spikes back and forth. And it took off starting yesterday, right? Wednesday to highs here of $18 and some change pulled back down to the 17s and has taken off today to 1970s, giving a highest point of 1979. Now this stock currently, the way I'm looking at it, it has given 20% plus on the week so far. When you zoom out, there's a lot of potential here. Analysis ratings are pointing this one upside. But one of the things I'm looking for right now is either a healthy pullback before the next run, right? Before the next catalyst because of this big run that already happened or consolidation showing strength to build up for the next catalyst to take this to newer levels, newer highs and new resistance levels because this was consolidation here small consolidation here after a pullback and it ran so what i'm looking for is consolidation of strength again or a healthy pullback because of a big run that just happened before it takes off again to newer highs and new resistance levels so analysis ratings are pointing this one to the upside this stock seems to have hit a bottom at 17 dollars for now we have to see if it continues to be the bottom or retest it or breaks through it in the near future but right now this stock is performing with strength and it's definitely one to have on your watch list regardless of what happens if consolidation or slight pullback happens in a healthy manner making the opportunities even bigger any of the stocks that i mentioned are not financial advice i'm not here to tell you to buy sell or hold any positions on any of the stocks i talk about I'm just here to align you guys on the opportunities I'm watching and why I'm watching them. If you want to receive live updates of my weekly watch list and daily watch list, the link is down below to the discord and we look forward to having you join us. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.